today's topic is alkenes we have already studied the in the previous chapters that is alkenes and cycloalkenes now we have previously seen that hydrocarbons are divided into two different categories that is saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons in saturated hydrocarbons we have already seen uh, alkanes and cycloalkanes in the previous chapter now in this chapter we are going to study about alkenes so uh, the as you can see the general formula of alkene is cnh2n instead of cnh2n plus 2 of alkenes this plus 2 gets eliminated that means two hydrogens gets eliminated from this to form a double bond okay so this is unsaturated hydrocarbon unsaturation means presence of multiple bonds okay so they are ready to accept other uh, they are ready to add something else in their compound that's why they are called as unsaturated so they are hydrocarbons with carbon carbon double bond and they are n saturated molecules with general formula cnh2n and uh, this compound these type of compounds are very important in a chemical industry from point of view as you can see the chemical industry point of view these compounds are very important uh, because they are mainly used to make uh, polymers and all that is uh, the polythenes uh, what you have used uh, so as we have previously seen the alkanes usually we got from crude oil which is uh, which we get from the earth crust and then we distillate that crude oil and uh, we extract different alkanes from these but uh, these alkenes are usually not uh, found in this crude oil they are present in very little quantity but they are produced when these alkanes are undergone cracking process we have already seen the cracking process or which is also called as pyrolysis that means breaking of uh, higher uh, alkanes or higher hydrocarbons into the smaller one that is called as cracking of alkanes so they are basically produced while we uh, implement the cracking process on these higher alkanes so uh, the alkenes are hydrocarbons in the air they also burns in the air to produce carbon dioxide and water and they produce a lot of energy but usually we don't prefer these alkenes as a fuel because when it burns in the presence of air it is a slight explosive okay so it burns with some explosion so that's why we cannot prefer it as a fuel in our uh, maybe you can see um, in our motor vehicles or in industries or any sort of uh, thing or domestic purpose we cannot use it as a fuel because it is a little explosive in nature when it burns with air so the alkenes are also useful in chemical industries like manufacturing of plastics and manufacturing of uh, other chemicals that are used to make fuels uh, then uh, you we can see the nomenclature that means how we can write the name of these alkenes so there are two system of nomenclature the first system is a common system which is basically used for the lower alkenes jo, uh, lower alkenes hote hai, jo chote alkenes hote hai, uh, like uh, alkenes with two three four carbons then we can use a common name but when we talk about higher alkenes or substituted alkenes this is better or ideally we use only IUPAC system so uh, let us see the common system of name nomenclature of alkenes in the common system the name ends with eline that is y l e n e eline and it carries the prefix that uh, indicates the number of carbon atom present in the higher chain that is in the long chain um, okay so uh, this is eline you can see this is ethylene that is y l e n e it is having two number of carbons this is the structure of 
ethylene you can see this is propylene and uh, again this is ethylene okay propyl means three three carbons and ethylene means this is having double bond okay then uh, this is butene uh, hexene this is some common name of this and this alpha and beta shows the position of double bond in this suppose this is on the first position then we can name it as alpha butene then if this is um, on the second this is known as beta butene so in this way we can nomenclature we can name these compounds in a common system but preferably and ideally we don't use um, this common system usually we use an IUPAC nomenclature. Uh, then let us see the IUPAC nomenclature of alkene. Then uh, this has a suffix ene that is e n e. Ene suffix is alkene. You can also see this ene in this alkene word. Okay, this alkene also ends with this e n e. So, all the compounds ends with this E and E suffix indicates the alkenes or cycloalkenes. So, the longest chain chosen by this must be included in carbon atom of double bond. This is the basic difference between uh, IUPAC nomenclature and common nomenclature. In common nomenclature, we use all the number of carbon which are present in the bond. Either it is in the straight chain or in branched chain. Both of them are considered as number of carbons. That is, prefix is used according to the total number of carbons. But in IUPAC nomenclature, we use only the longest chain which is present. Okay. So, we use the longest chain which is present in the root. The root chain must be numbered from end near a double bond carbon atom. So, the double bond uh, center. So, we start from... Usually, we start from the uh, number which is nearest to the double bond. Like, suppose in this molecule, you can see the fourth molecule. This CH3 is in center. So, maybe according to this methyl group, if I consider, I can start counting from here. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Or maybe I can uh, start from this. 1, 2, 3, 4. But since... My double bond is here, so uh, I will preferably start from here only. I will pref uh, I will uh, name this at one first carbon, then second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, and fifth carbon. So, <clears throat> we start naming this uh, chain from the side in which uh, this double bond comes nearest, okay, to the nearest side of this double bond. We used to name this carbon. So, uh, as we name this carbon, this is having a methyl group at third position. So, we will write 3 methyl, and this double bond is at first position. So, we write 1, and this is a 5 membered ring chain. So, we will call it as pentene. Uh, this is not propane, this is wrongly written. Uh, this is a pentene. Okay, so with this pentene we will write, this is a 1 pentene, 3 methyl, 1 pentene. Okay, so in this way and suppose a double bond is attached as over here, that means as a functional group. Okay, as a group over here, suppose in place of this CH3, this group is attached, then we will call that is vinyl group. So this group is called as vinyl group and if the group with three number of carbons and one double bond that is called as allyl group. Okay, so we will write accordingly. Now let us begin with the preparation of alkenes. So first preparation is preparation from alcohols. So from alcohol we can prepare it by adding some concentrated sulfuric acid in this alcohol and we could heat this system so when we take a alcohol with any uh, kind of r r could be anything and we uh, we are taking this alcohol and we are um, in, uh, putting some concentrated sulfuric acid along with heating then we will get a alkene you can see over here so this oh get eliminated and this one of the h 
from here it gets eliminated and it forms a water molecule and after this elimination this becomes double bond okay so this becomes a alkenes uh, you can also see in this reaction this is a ethyl alcohol so when ethyl alcohol is undergone uh, with uh, this concentrated sulfuric acid and we will heat the system then uh, this OH group and the hydrogen group from this carbon will get eliminated to form a water molecule and this will form a double bond between them. So this will be ethene. Then this is a, a propyl alcohol. In propyl alcohol you can also see uh, this two gets eliminated to form a water molecule and this propene molecule is formed. Okay. So, uh, you can see the mechanism, as we see the mechanism, this is a chain reaction, you can say. This is a chain reaction in which, uh, first of all, we take a alcohol, then we put, as we put a sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, that means we are giving it as H plus ions, okay. So, acid, and, uh, acid gives H plus ions. So, H plus ions is given to this compound and this will make, this will get attached to this OH and it will form a OH2 group that is plus OH2 group which is an oxonium ion. This is called as oxonium ion and after this oxonium ion, this will undergo a uh, elimination of OH2 group. This is H2O group is eliminated from this and this forms a carbocation and after the formation of carbocation, this positive charge has been taken by this hydrogen. This hydrogen will get removed by taking this positive charge and uh, after the elimination of this hydrogen and elimination of this double bond, this carbon gets unsaturated and this carbon also gets unsaturated. क्योंकि इनमें दो ही अटैचमेंट है इसमें एक आर ग्रुप है एक एच ग्रुप है सो इट्स इट्स नॉट स्टेबल ओके सो दिस विल फॉर्म अ डबल बॉन्ड बिटवीन ईच अदर एंड इट विल बी अ अल्कीन अगेन वी गेट अ एच प्लस आयन व्हिच इज एलिमिनेटेड फ्रॉम हियर दिस एच प्लस आयन वुड बी यूज्ड बाय अनदर अल्कोहल मॉलिक्यूल टू अंडरगो द सेम रिएक्शन दैट्स व्हाई एज वी स्टार्टेड एज वी इनिशिएटेड दिस रिएक्शन बाय एडिंग द एसिड वी कैन कंटिन्यू दिस रिएक्शन दिस इज अ चेन रिएक्शन व्हिच विल व्हिच विल बी कंटिन्यूड दिस एच प्लस विल बी एलिमिनेटेड एंड अगेन दिस एच प्लस विल बी यूज्ड टू इनिशिएट दिस चेन रिएक्शन ओके so uh, that is the mechanism of uh, formation of alkenes by alcohols then let's come to the second type of reaction that is from alkyl halides then alkyl halides undergo a dehydrohalogenation reaction dehydro means d means removal this ded indicates removal and this hydro means one hydrogen group is removed and halogenation matlab one halogen group is removed so the hydro halogenation means one hydro and one halogen group is removed from the molecule that is called as dehydrohalogenation then uh, if we talk about the alkyl halide this is a alkyl halide having one halide group attached to this alkyl group Okay. So, this one group is attached when we uh, mix it with KOH in the presence of alcohol as a solvent, then we heat the system, then what will be happen this, uh, with this KOH, this X and this H will be eliminated. So, this X goes with H, uh, sorry, this X goes with K to form KX. And this OH goes with this hydrogen to form H2O. So in this form also, we will removing this H as well as X. So this is an elimination of one hydrogen is eliminated and one halogen is eliminated. So that's why this is called as a dehydrohalogenation reaction. Okay. So let us see that then alkene is formed. Similarly, you can see in this reaction, this is a uh, two idopropane molecule. So, in two idopropane molecule, you can see one iodine is there and one hydrogen is there. So, 
when we uh, add some koh to it in the presence of alcohol that is in alcohol as a medium and we heat this system then what will happen uh, this i will got eliminated and this h will get, gets eliminated that means the i nikal jayega aur ye carbon ke sath ye h nikal jayega theek hai yahan se ye nikal gaya yahan se hamara uh, hydrogen nikal gaya that's why this is dehydrohalogenation reaction so dehydrohalogenation reaction uh this forms a ki and this forms a h2 right and we get a propene molecule so this is also a same reaction so let us see the mechanism of this reaction dissociation of alkyl halides to give cargo cation so as we put uh some alcohol and koh in presence of al uh, koh what happens this h plus gets eliminated this will be eliminated and it will form a cargo cation molecule this is c plus will be there because x removed with x minus so wo ek electron extra leke nikal jata hai so this removed x is removed as a x minus that is halide ion and this becomes a cargo cation that is positive ion it will become so uh, this positive uh, ion will then attack oh minus ion this is also a negative charge ion okay so um, this will form a alkene molecule this can form a alkene molecule now now the third method is from dihalides now we were removing one hydrogen and one halide in the previous case that means we were removing one hydrogen and one halide ek hydrogen aur ek halide hum remove kar rahe the to usko hum bol rahe the dehydrohalogenation reaction now this is uh, from dehalogenation that means two halogens are removed from this okay whatever the compound is two hydrogens are removed then this is called as dehydrohalogenation reaction so when vinyl uh, when when uh, you can see this example we have one two dichloroethane in this place so in this one two dichloroethane this two chlorine is attached on the adjacent carbon this is very important to know if they are not on the adjacent carbon agar ye aas aas pass wale carbon pe nahi hai to ye remove nahi honge this process will not happen because both the two carbons will not undergo a uh, uh, unsaturation reaction ya double bond wo form nahi karega isliye it is necessary that these two carbon uh, chlorine atoms or whatever halogen is attached to this molecule that should be on adjacent carbon ek dusre ke baaju mein hona chahiye wo carbon theek hai to ab i have put some zinc dust in this for uh, uh, for uh, this alkenes zinc dust is added and this is uh, this is undergo in ethanol ethanol mein jo hum dalte hain ye sab cheeze aur uske baad hum usko thoda sa heat karte hain to we get a ch2 ch2 that is double bond ch2 okay that is ethene molecule we get a ethene molecule then uh, second example is dibromopropane in also in dibromopropane these two bromines are getting eliminated okay isme se ye dono bromine nikal jayenge aur yahan pe ek डबल बॉन्ड आ जाएगा ठीक है तो ये ब्रोमीन जिंक के साथ बाहर निकल गए और दिस फॉर्म्स अ जिंक ब्रोमाइड एंड दिस डबल बॉन्ड कम्स ओवर हियर ओके सो दिस हैपेंस द मॉलिक्यूल एंड इट विल फॉर्म अ प्रोपीन मॉलिक्यूल देन लेट अस सी द नेक्स्ट टाइप दैट इज फोर्थ फ्रॉम अल्केन्स दैट इज फ्रॉम क्रैकिंग और पाइरोलिसिस प्रोसेस सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द पाइरोलिसिस प्रोसेस of cracking process a uh, cracking process is nothing but the breaking of higher hydrocarbons into the smaller hydrocarbons so basically alkenes are um, alkenes are uh, alkenes are formed during this cracking process when we crack this higher hydrocarbons from the crude oil jo crude oil jo hum zameen ke niche se nikalte hain jaise ki humne previous lectures mein dekha tha that crude oil has been used 
ओके एंड इसमें जो हायर हाइड्रोकार्बन होते हैं दे आर नॉट वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अस मेनली सी सिक्स सी सेवन यूजफुल होता है बिकॉज दे गिव पेट्रोलियम एंड पेट्रोलियम इज मोस्ट हाइएस्ट रिक्वायरमेंट ओके तो पेट्रोलियम की हाइएस्ट रिक्वायरमेंट होती है तो हमको ज्यादा से ज्यादा पेट्रोल पे करने के लिए उसको क्रैक करना पड़ता है क्रैक दोज हायर हाइड्रोकार्बन इन टू द यूजफुल वंस ओके और यू कैन सी द स्मॉलर वंस तो इन दिस प्रोसेस यू कैन गेट अ हाइड्रोकार्बन लाइक सपोज वी गेट द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस एन हेक्सेन अब ये एन हेक्सेन में सिक्स कार्बन है ओके सिक्स नंबर ऑफ कार्बन है मुझे इसे ब्रेक करना है इफ आई एम ब्रेकिंग दिस मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम दिस पोजिशन जस्ट आई एम हीटिंग दिस मॉलिक्यूल एट सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड आई विल आई कैन ब्रेक दिस मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम द मिडिल वन जब मैंने इसको मिडिल से ब्रेक कर दिया तो मिडिल से ब्रेक करने के बाद क्या होगा Obviously, this hydrogen अगर मैंने यहाँ से ब्रेक किया okay, तो ये जो हाइड्रोजन है ये एक हाइड्रोजन यहाँ पे चला जाएगा और यहाँ से भी एक हाइड्रोजन जो है वो यहाँ पे चला जाएगा ठीक है तो ये जो हाइड्रोकार्बन है ये हाइड्रोकार्बन क्या बना देते हैं ये बना देते हैं अपना अल्प्रोपीन बिकॉज इट हैज टू लेस हाइड्रो हाइड्रोजन ओके Will form a propene as well as one propyl. Okay, so this process can be done with uh, thermal heating also, and this process can also be done with catalyst. Okay, we can also add catalyst to form this type of cracking reaction. I'm looking at previously, but I thought here. So the fifth one, the fifth preparation is from alkynes. So from alkynes, that is, they are even more. Uh, unsaturated then alkenes and they are very unstable in nature. So the alkynes जो होते हैं this has been treated in the presence of Linder uh, Linder's catalyst. Linder's catalyst is nothing but palladium catalyst and in presence of calcium carbonate and quinoline. This is called as Linder's catalyst. Okay. अब ये जो कैटलिस्ट है ये कैटलिस्ट के प्रेजेंस में मैंने जब इसको हीट किया तो इट अंडर गो हाइड्रोजनेशन दैट मीन्स दिस हाइड्रोजन विल बी अटैच टू दिस ठीक है सो वन ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन गेट्स अटैच दिस कार्बन एंड वन ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन गेट्स अटैच टू दिस कार्बन ठीक है तो ये दोनों कार्बन में एक एक हाइड्रोजन जब ज्वाइन हो जाता है ये बन जाता है दैट मीन्स That means this alkynes becomes alkenes now. Then the uh, then there is some rule for uh, elimination of this uh, alkene. Suppose this is formed by elimination reaction, or maybe you can see uh, one of the type of elimination that is we have already seen dehydrohalogenation. इन डीहाइड्रोहेलोजिनेशन हमने देखा था कि एक हाइड्रोजन रिमूव होता है और एक एडजेसेंट कार्बन में से हेलोजन रिएक्शन हेलोजन रिमूव होता है दैट मीन्स वन हाइड्रोजन एंड वन हेलोजन गेट्स एलिमिनेटेड फ्रॉम द ग्रुप टू फॉर्म अल्किन्स मॉलिक्यूल ओके बट दिस इन अल्किन्स अब आप ये जो अल्किन देखोगे okay? ये अल्किन में यहाँ पे भी डबल बॉन्ड आ सकता है यहाँ पे भी डबल बॉन्ड आ सकता है That means double bond आपके first carbon में भी आ सकता है second में भी आ सकता है That means side वाले में भी आ सकता है और middle वाले में भी आ सकता है तो जब ये हम middle वाले में इसको ये करते हैं तो middle वाले में ये करने के बाद क्या होता है आपका product दोनों भी हो सकता है Now the question is which would be preferable product? कौन सा prefer preferred रहेगा product? कौन सा higher uh, major product रहेगा और कौन सा lower रहेगा So for this prediction, there is a rule called as Sedzev's uh, Sedzev's rule. This Sedzev's rule uh, indicates that uh, in the elimination reaction, 
the preferred product is that alkene which has greater number of alkyl groups attached to this doubly bonded carbon atom that means ye jo double bond hai ye double bond mein jo bhi do carbon ke beech mein double bond hai they should have more number of uh, alkyl groups attached that means agar hum isme dekhte hain to ye carbon mein ek alkyl group attached hai बट ये वाले कार्बन में कोई भी अल्किल ग्रुप अटैच नहीं है ओके तो दिस इज नॉट प्रेफरेबल इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस अगर आप इसमें देखोगे तो ये कार्बन के साथ भी एक अल्किल ग्रुप है और ये वाले कार्बन के साथ भी एक अल्किल ग्रुप अटैच है सो दिस वुल बी अ प्रिफर्ड प्रोडक्ट दैट मीन्स दिस विल बी मेजर प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस वुड बी अ माइनर प्रोडक्ट ओके Uh, you can also see in case of two uh, butanol, in case of two butanol, you can see uh, this OH and one of the hydrogen gets eliminated. Okay, so ये OH निकलेगा और एक hydrogen निकलेगा. अब ये OH निकलेगा और ये वाला hydrogen निकलेगा तो यहाँ पे double bond बनेगा. अगर ये OH के साथ ये वाला hydrogen निकलेगा तो यहाँ पे double bond बनेगा. So now this is difficult to put. ये कि यहाँ पे double bond आएगा कि यहाँ पे. तो दिस इज गिवन बाय सचेस रूल कि जो डबल बॉन्ड होता है वो मिडिल में आता है दैट मींस दिस कार्बन शुड हैव अ मतलब लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन और लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ अल्किल ग्रुप तो इसमें भी एक अल्किल ग्रुप अटैच है और इसमें भी एक अल्किल ग्रुप है तो डबल बॉन्ड जो होगा वो यहां पे आएगा ओके सो दिस वुड बी अ मेजर प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस विल बी अ माइनर प्रोडक्ट